Hi, I'm Miss Hearn. Let's get started. In this video, we're going to be given the area under a standard normal curve and find the z-score associated with it. The type of z-table that we're going to use is one that's cumulative from the mean. So what are z-tables? All that a z-table is is a list of z-scores and the area associated with them. But what area? So for example, if I tell you there's a z-score 1.13 and the area associated associated with it is 0.371. This is meaningless unless I know what area you're referring to. I might be using a cumulative Z table, which means that the area I'm referring to is the area to the left of Z. I might be using a Z table that's cumulative from the mean, meaning it's the area to the left of Z up until zero, the Z score zero, which is the mean. Or I might be talking about a Z table that gives us the area to the right of the z-score. That's called complementary cumulative. So it's important to know which type of z-table you're using. Well, luckily, each z-table has a little legend, like a map. And that picture of the normal curve with a region shaded tells you what kind of z-table you're looking at. So in this video, we're going to talk about a z-table that's cumulative from the mean. I have another video where we'll talk about other types of z-tables and I'll post the links in the comments below. So what are we going to do with this z-table? Well normally we're given a data value x, we use z equals x minus mu over sigma to convert it to a z-score and then we take that z-score, look on the z-table and find the associated area. But what if we're given the area and we want to get back to the z-score or even possibly the data value? Then we have to reverse that process. So the first thing we're going to do is to take the area and look up the associated z-score on the z-table. And that's what this video is about. So in this example, we're going to find a z-score for a given area. Assuming a normal distribution, which is important because you have to have a normal distribution or you can't use a z-table, find the z-value meeting the condition that 39% of the area is to the right of z. The first thing you have to figure out is, is your z-score going to be on the right of the mean or on the left? In other words, are we going to have a positive z-score or a negative z-score? Well, the clue is in the 39%. 50% of the data is to the right of the mean. So if we had a negative z-score, there would be more than 50% to the right of it. In this case, we have less than 50%. So it's not possible that we have a negative z-score. It must be positive. So we're going to place the positive z-score to the right of zero, and then we're going to shade the direction that it tells us, which in this case is to the right of z. So the gray region fits the description of a z-score that 39% of the area is to the right of z. Now we need to use our z-table to figure out what that z-score could be. But we're using a z-table that is cumulative from the mean. So what that means is our z-table tells us what area is between the z-score and zero. Well, we know 39% is to the right, and we know 50% is on each side of the mean. So the difference between the two is how much is in that strip between zero and our z-score. 50 minus 39 is 11%. So when we look on our z-table, we're gonna need to look for the z-score associated with 11%. But of course on our z-tables, we don't give percentages. The z-tables are the decimal form. So we need to look up an area of 0.11 or 0.110 on our table. In my class it's called table 17. So table 17 lists the z-scores associated with a particular area between 0 and z. We're looking for 0 0.110 in the area columns. If you zoom in you can see that to get an area of 0 0.110 you're next to a z-score of 0.28. 
So we've found that our z-score is 0.28. The z-score that has an area of 39% to the right of z is 0.28. Let's look at another example. Assuming a normal distribution, find the z-value meeting the condition that 45.2% of the area is to the left of z. Okay, so Again, we first have to figure out, is that z-score gonna be a negative or a positive? Since 45.2% of the area is to the left, it's not possible that we're talking about a positive z-score because that would have more than 50% to the left of it. So we must be talking about a negative z-score. So we draw a picture with a z-score that's to the left of zero or negative. We know that 45.2% of the area is to the left of z, so we've shaded that region. But we're working with a z table that's cumulative from the mean. So we need to know the area between z and the mean, which has a z-score of zero. 50% is to the left of zero, so 50 minus 45.2, or 4.8%, is between z and zero in this region right here. But our Z table doesn't give us a percent, it gives us a decimal form. So we need to look up 0 0.048 on what in my class is table 17. Looking for 0 0.048 in the area column, we find it here. And next to it, we have a Z score of 0.12. But we're talking about a Z score that's to the left of the mean or a negative Z score. So our z-score is actually negative 0.12. So now consider this example. Assuming a normal distribution, find the z-value meeting the condition that 76% of the area is to the left of z. So again, the first thing you need to figure out is do you have a negative z-score or a positive z-score? And that we can tell by whether 76% is less than 50 or more. 50% of the data is on each side. So if we have a positive z-score, it's possible to have more than 50% to the left. Yeah. If we have a negative z-score, we have to have less than 50%. So it must be that we have a positive z-score that's on the right side of zero. We draw the picture, place our positive z-score to the right of zero, and shade to the left because it says that's the amount of area to the left of z. Since we're using a z table that's cumulative from the mean, how much of the area is between zero and z? Well, we know that 50% of the area is to the left of zero. So if we take 76% minus that 50%, what's left is 26% that must be between zero and z. But our z table doesn't have percentages, it has decimals. So we're gonna look up an area of 0.260 on our table. So looking for an area of 0.260, we see that we don't exactly have 0.260. The closest we have is 0.261. So I'm going to use that and look for what z-score is associated with it, 0.71. So the z-score we're looking for is 0.71. That's the z-score for which 76% of the area is to the left. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. That helps other students to find the video.